Okay, guys, so this video, I'm going to share with you a couple of things. I'm going to show you how to use Herberlo if you don't have it. Um, I'm going to show you how to do your shipping rates, okay? And I'm going to show you how it all works together because I know I briefly, um, you know, went over this on the, on the um, training yesterday, but some of you are a little confused. And I'm also going to show you how to get rid of the brand from like aliexpress you know like sometimes they have their picture or their logo from the seller the wholesaler on their their picture so you don't want to show that on your store so i'm going to show you those three things okay so as far as um oberlo let's do a burlo first so if you want to go to apps i already have a burlo um you know download it all you have to do is go to apps and go to visit shopify app store and you'll type in oberlo Oberlo, Oberlo, okay? Uh, so you'll type that in, and then I'm going to show you how it looks when you use it, okay? So let's say I wanted to find some accessories. Let's say I wanted to find a necklace um, for my store, right? And I don't know, let me just see. I'm going to do a horse bracelet, right? Let's just say I want to do a horse bracelet, and you see how this green, this green, um, E packet. Remember, we talked about e packet. You can set your Oberlo for e packet. They'll know to only, you know, grab the 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 pictures that have e packet. Like this one doesn't have it, so you won't um, import this to your store. Okay. So I'm going to import this one because it also has a um, has a brand on it. So I'm just going to do it for this for this uh, sake this this demonstration. Um, so let's say that I wanted to take, I wanted to get this, it's two hundred two dollars and eighty cents, but it's for the whole lot. We're really looking for pieces. But anyway, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. You don't want to buy a lot. Just you want to make sure your thing says peace. Okay, peace. So let's do this one. Um you well let's let's do one that has a watermark and an e-packet. Okay, this one has a watermark and an e-packet. So uh you want to make sure it says a piece which means that when you mail it out to your customers, they're not getting a bunch, like 12, a dozen, two dozen. Um, if it says lot, that's what they're going to get. So make sure. There used to be a, a, a part up here which said, um, you know, peace, but now they don't have that up here. I don't know. Maybe if you click around. But it used to have, like, it has free shipping, the stars up, da da da, da. It would also have per piece. But I, I see that that's missing now. So you want to make sure when you're looking through your, your um your um you know your items you don't want to import anything that says lot because as you can see when they when you order it they're going to ship out 10 of them to your customer you don't want that you only want one piece okay so i'm going to use this one as an example because it also has a watermark and a lot of you are going to come across that that it has a watermark and you're going to put that on your store and that's not good so what you're going to do, once you have Oberlo downloaded, you're going to have the Oberlo attachment to your, you have to be in Google Chrome. You're going to put the Google Chrome extension and it walks you, you know, how to do that. So next thing you're going to see, whenever you're looking for a new product, all you have to do is click that button. You don't have to copy and paste anything. It's going to bring everything over to Oberlo. And you see how it says, um, you know, it has been imported successfully. So you're just going to click that button. Everything is just a click of a button. So now we have the, um, you know, it's going to have the store name. I mean, the, um, you know, the description, all that stuff. You want to change this. So if it says star, animal, leather, bracelet, galaxy, da, 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 you want to change this. You want to, oops, you want to um, change the name. See where it says change name? So maybe I'll just put um, uh, animal galaxy bracelet, right? Maybe I'll just put animal galaxy bracelet now remember you want to make sure that if this was an animal store or whatever um you know you want to have that keyword so i don't know what kind of animals this is but let's say you have you know i know somebody here is going to be doing a music store so you'll say musical right if this was a musical bracelet you'll say musical notes galaxy bracelet okay because you want to have that keyword in your description okay so if you want to add it to a collection you can add it to bracelets right if you already have a collection if you don't have that that's okay um, you just put some tags right again this is keywords so you'll put bracelet so whenever anybody's searching they'll come I always spell bracelet wrong they'll come across that 
that um you know keyword galaxy maybe they want you know they're into the galaxy i don't know animal so you know you just want to put something that you think people will be searching okay so now what we're going to do after you got that um you put description you'll put some something like um you know beautiful beautiful animal galaxy bracelet usually retails for let's say 12.95 but we we be in the store we are offering them today or offering them for a limited time only for let's say 795 okay so you'll do something like that you want to put a nice description and you can put you know what it looks like you know you can look down here I would take off some of this stuff so but I would put description right description description or and, and you know what I will also do I would say any galaxy lover would love this any so if you're doing the music any any musical um, any any music lover would love this um, anyone you know let me try to think any camper would love this. so depending on what your what your um, you know your niche is put that any any um, galaxy lover galaxy lover would love this would love this bracelet okay put something like that and then you could put a description right and you can look through here this is pretty much your description your brand name I would take that out um gender I would take that out doesn't matter charm bracelet you want to just okay lots of class trendy leather setting type I would take that out just just leave the stuff that matters right 20 20 centimeters it's a star bracelet um fashion okay and then I would put please allow please allow two to four weeks for shipping right you want to know that um if you offer any refund policy you could put that here too um ref um you know um resistance free something like that resistance free refund no questions asked because you want people to be like, you know, if I want a refund, you got to be prepared to give refunds. I haven't given any refunds in my store yet, thank God. But you got to be prepared. Resistant free refunds, no questions asked within 14 days. or Something like that, right? You want to have that here. Only if you, only if it's a paid, only if it's a paid item, okay? For free, don't put that here. Because for free, you shouldn't even be offering any kind of, um, any kind of, um, you know, any kind of, um, refund with that okay so we got animal galaxy bracelet okay bracelet use retails for 295 but we're offering them for a limited time only for 7.95 any galaxy lover would love this bracelet right something like that something like that then you put the description you have allowed two to four weeks for shipping so if people um want to know about shipping resistance free refunds no questions asked within 14 days okay so now we want to go to variants so this is where you know they have different colors it's always good of what i've heard it's always good to have different colors of your of your item if you can like try to pick a an item that has like different colors different variations so what you would do here you would change all your prices so let's say you know this these are the these are the old price right so change all new price set new value so what we say it was it used to be twelve ninety five. so in the variance we're going to change the prices so we're going to set new value we're going to do twelve ninety five, right and that's going to apply all the way down the list so that's what it's going to say when it hits your store it's going to say it was twelve ninety five, and now we're going to change um set the new value to um to um, $7.95. Now that's the weight. Change all prices. Set new value to $12.95. Okay, so now it's going to say, I mean $7.95. What did I say it was? $7.95. So we're selling them for $7.95, but we're telling uh, the people that come to our store that it was on that it used to be twelve ninety five. So this way they still, you know, it looks like they're getting a nice value, a nice discount. Setting the value. So now if this is a paid item, right, which we are, we're charging a paid item, 
um, we're going to set this at 0.1, okay? 0.1 pounds, 0.1 pounds. Now, remember, if it's a free item, we are going to set it at 0.5, and you'll see why in a minute, okay? So we're going to set that to 0.1 right point one gonna apply it and it's gonna apply all the way down the line okay so um so then you're going to make sure you got you know a few images and we're gonna keep the one with the image with the with the logo um there are some without but we're gonna keep the one with the logo you can you know you can choose which ones you want and it'll upload all of them if you want you know but you have to make sure it's green when it turns green that means it's gonna go to your store so you just click the ones that you want you know don't click the ones that you don't want um and then when you when you're happy with the ones that you want, you're going to click push to shop. OK, push to shop. So now I'm going to go back to my shop and I'm going to see them in my products. I'm going to see this picture in my products. So let me see if I can find it. I'm going to have way too many products in this store. Where is it? And you see how I had everything free, free, free. I have to change all of this in my store. So we named this. Uh, where is it? Um, let's see, Galaxy. If I can't find it. Okay, it should be in my store. Let me refresh. It should be in my store here. The Galaxy bracelet. When you click on... Am I missing it here? Wait, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. All right, where'd it go? <laughs> where'd it go? It should have went straight to my store. Let's see. And if you want to see your products, all you have to do is click on my products and see which products should be in your store. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. Let's see. Import list. Let me see if it's still here. No. Nope. Where'd it go? Okay, I have 31 products, so it's kind of hard. Let me see if I put Galaxy. It'll come up. Where'd it go? Import list. Okay, I don't know why I just lost it. Where'd it go? It's on page two. Did I change the name? All right. I don't know where it went. It just like disappeared. Okay. That's great for demonstration purposes. <laughs> but anyway, it shouldn't have disappeared. I don't know what, where it went. But anyway, it should have been in my store. I have no clue why I didn't go. Um, I have no clue. So anyway. All right. So. I'm going to do that again off camera. Okay, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to pull it through again, and I'm going to resume. So just hold on tight. Okay, I saw what happened. and went to my other store because I, I don't know why I did that. But anyway, okay, so, I, you know, I had to do it all over again, but I didn't do all the description and all that stuff. Hopefully you understand what to do there. So now, right, just pretend that, you know, it's, it's, it's set up the right way. We got our refund policy. We got all that stuff. I just had to do it all over again. So now we have our pictures. We have everything. We have, we have our variants. Um, it should be one point. I didn't do it again because I, for the sake of time, I just did it, you know, but let's say this said 1.1. We did it, you know, in Oberlo. Okay. So now we see our pictures. Okay. We see our pictures. Um, and we see some of these pictures have the logo on it. So if we want to uh, get rid of this logo, what we're going to do, we're going to click on this button here that says edit image. We're going to, and then what we're going to do is we're going to click this button that says blemish. And we're just going to like, just blur it out, you know, try to blur it out as much as possible. Um, you know, depending on how, how good the blurring is or how deep it is, then, you know, you can do it good. If, like this is really, really dark. Um, another way you can do this is, you know, you can edit this image, maybe take a picture if you want, you know, or just, or just take this out altogether. But if you really like this image, what I suggest you do is like take a picture of it, copy and paste it. Um, right. You can, you can do one of these copy and paste it, you know, look at it. If you really like it, you know, um, 
and maybe just like zoom in like this and then just take a screenshot or you can go in Canva. 